Hey Taurus, welcome to your April of 2019 Sidereal Astrology Forecast. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, what are the major aspects taking place for you this month because there is quite a bit uh, shifting uh, collectively here. Um, one of which is that Uranus is going into your 12th house. Um, Uranus is changing sign going into Aries. Now, if you were expecting me to say Taurus just then, be sure to check out the link down below because uh, we are using the actual size of the constellations as seen in the visible sky. And this does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So mainstream astrology is saying Uranus is going into Taurus. But actually, if you look up at the sky, you will see it slowly going into Aries uh, this month. All right, but Taurus, this is your 12th house. So uh, really good time to really go into your psyche, you could say, over the next uh, five years, really, to find a greater sense of freedom. And so this can be an excellent time for doing spiritual activities, um, psychology, um, listening to your dreams, getting rest and relaxation, bringing in more peace into your life, going in and, and basically exploring your unconscious self and your spiritual self to, to find a greater link to your true self because, because it is through the unconscious realms, it is through that you know, reintegrating these unconscious aspects of ourself that we do uh, integrate a greater sense of of our true self, a greater connection to that, which does lead to greater freedom and spontaneity and excitement and change that will uh, really be uh, mixing things up for you uh, when you're doing that in, in a good way, in, in a freedom uh, and exciting type of way. All right, so that's the um, subtle shift. Do give it time. Probably later in the month, you'll start to feel it, and I'll explain that a little more in detail, but that's definitely the most important thing taking place. Uh, the first thing taking place uh, generally is that Pluto is going to be passing over the south node in your eighth house. This is also a water house, and there's a lot going on here this, this month as well. And this is the month that has to do with you uh, releasing some patterns, basically breaking some patterns, facing some fears, maybe going in and uh, releasing some patterns that have to do with that are based from fear or patterns that are based from trauma or wounds or things like this that as you become more aware of, this month, um, it's going to help you really release a lot of this stuff. And this is the area of transformation. It's the house of transformation. So you Tauruses are really, you know, emerging out of this transformative energy with a fresh new, fresh new you, fresh new perspective and empowerment, really self-empowerment that arises from a lot of this um, transformative type of energy. So good to allow some patterns to be released there, especially if they're rooted in the, the deeper aspects of self. Um, and doing deeper work can, and healing it can be super, super helpful. Just a natural way of working with this energy. Now, April 2nd, we do have uh, Mercury going over Neptune. And this is a, an energy we, we felt from last month in March. So a lot of you are probably reevaluating things involving your career or your productive life, achievement, things like this. And now there's a nice step in the right direction here uh, with this. It's the, the last one with Neptune, suggesting some practical implementations with some of these matters. So there's been a lot of dreamy energy, maybe ideals uh, regard or maybe even uncertainty involved involving your career or productive life. And so Mercury is really helping you get to the tangible side of this. And so that's what's happening is a nice tangible link here uh, coming into this month involving your career and productive life in the context of moving forward some of these dreams and ideals uh, you may have about them. All right, and then April 5th, we do have uh, a new moon and that's gonna be in your 11th house. In fact, your 11th house, there is a lot taking place at this month in the sense that your focus will probably be on your future ideals. They could also maybe be on your friends or community or tribe. Um, and basically anything that's greater than yourself, that is like a community or just anything greater than yourself is a really good month to focus on and cultivate. And especially during April 5th's new moon, some new intentions you may want to set with this stuff can be fantastic. And then I would say also, what are your future ideals? What are your hopes and wishes for the future? Setting some new intentions with that can be great. Now, April 10th, and Venus passes over that Neptune. Again, also solidifying things with the productive or career uh, sector or public sector from last month. And in this sense, maybe enjoying uh, some of the, this particular day, maybe around April 10th, maybe enjoying or seeing some value, some new values uh, when it comes to these uh, productive or public things in your life. Now, there's a lot taking place April 10th, though. Uh, Jupiter is going to go retrograde in your seventh house of relationships. It's been some opportunities here, or at least a bit of openness, open-mindedness, 
or a little inspiration about the area, maybe just getting some wisdom about the area uh, this year. So it is a good time to now go back and reconsider and reevaluate some of the rela relationship stuff. This could be partnerships you're already into. It could be business agreements, obviously romantic stuff as well with our partners. But just it's normal. It's part of the roughly five month retrograde for Jupiter. So just give yourself this, this reevaluation time, reconsideration with those matters uh, during um, Jupiter's retrograde, April 10th onward for about the next four to five months, roughly. All right, um, April 10th, the sun will be squaring up to Saturn. So to, you know, patience is kind of the theme for all of us collectively involving some of these future aspirations or group things uh, that you might be focused on this month, just around that day, April 10th. Now, April 19th, we then have the full moon. And this is going to be culminating a lot of the stuff that you're probably gonna be focused on regarding um, the, the group stuff or those future ideals. So anything that started there around April 5th from the new moon could be coming to a high point around um, April 19th. And if there has been anything over the past six months um, involving specifically what I would say is your self-expression and your creative side and your playfulness, um, the things that are close to your heart, whatever's close to your heart, anything there that's been cultivated over the past six months, this could be coming to a high point to a completion, to a fulfillment. And this is really a great time, April 19th, to find that balance between your future ideals and your groups or aspir you know, future aspirations and balance that with what you're passionate about, what you enjoy, your self-expression, your creative side, because both of those are being linked up and they are very much needed in life, right? The, um, the expressive and the idealistic, the uh, community and what we're passionate about and enjoy and find fun in life right? Integrating that our communities need us to be having fun, playful, creative, that kind of a thing. All right. And this is when Saturn starts to get very close to the South Node. So again, like we said, there's a lot of releasing with the deeper aspects of life. If you've been doing any work, you know, with this, you know, maybe about the past year and a half um, involving a deeper aspects to yourself, your psyche, uh, transformation, building new patterns, matters pertaining to life and death, maybe even matters pertaining to, um, your uh, shared resources. Uh, this is now um, going through again, another releasing process. It's a great month to practice non-attachment to these things because it's through the non-attachment to the eighth house matters that it's gonna help bring balance back. And that's what's naturally happening is like I said, there's more balance here and there's this self-empowerment that, that's arising from that. Now, April 22nd, um, the sun's gonna go over Uranus in your 12th house. So you'll probably start to notice around them Maybe a good time to get some of that alone time, receptive time, intuitive time. Um, and again, finding that sense of freedom that arises from that. Um, again, psychological work, spiritual work, all that. To really listen to your excitement with these things, to try new things with it. It's like innovating. You want to be like a scientist and like experiment when it comes to the spiritual and unconscious realms. And this is another step in the right direction to, again, really help you link up with that sense of freedom that Uranus is helping you cultivate there in the 12th. April 24th, Pluto goes retrograde in the 8th. Reconsiderations taking place with some of those deeper aspects that um, you're very much rooted in here this uh, year, really. Um, so rethinking things like how is your self-empowerment, reevaluating some of these patterns, um, maybe reevaluating some things pertaining to shared resources or whatever, especially because Saturn's going to go retrograde uh, later in the month around uh, April uh, 30th in that sector. All right, and then April 27th, um, Mars will be squaring up to Neptune. Um, nothing major with this, but um, you know, I think we're gonna have a lot of drive. This month is gonna be on your independence and your goals and your assertiveness, even though, again, there's a lot kind of starting to shape up behind the scenes. I think anything that is about cultivating what you want, your needs, asserting yourself, it's gonna be very strong and very powerful this month. And so just around April 27th, when Mars squares Neptune, is practicing that receptivity. Um, faith and trust, surrendering what's outside of your control, being non-attached to your needs, just because there might be a little bit of uncertainty um, regarding that area during this time, just around April 27th. All right, and then April 29th, Saturn goes retrograde. Again, great month for reevaluating, rethinking some of these things involving what's really uh, truly uh, meaningful to you on a very, very deep level. What is life really about and breaking patterns and empowering yourself through healing and stuff like this. And really the key to balancing all that as it has been is really focus on your self-worth, focus on building your material security, focus on building your resources, because this is really the area that's balancing out where a lot of that eighth house energy is. 
All right, so Taurus, have a fantastic April. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.